Good morning, my name is Richard Clark. I'm a volunteer with the Wham Museum in Hood River. We'd like to introduce you to the uh, Curtis Jenny JN 4D. It's a 1917 model that uh, makes it 93 years old at the time. The Jenny is pro propelled by a Curtis uh, OX5 engine. It's a 90 horsepower V8 water-cooled engine. This particular model has vertical exhaust stacks on them. All later models had them uh, turning down into the rear of the aircraft. The engine is a water-cooled engine that was designed in about 1909. It was on all Curtis Jennies, uh, which were 5,000 of them built for World War I. All propellers in World War I era and before and up till close to World War II were wooden propellers. This particular propeller has curvatures on both sides with reinforcing metal on the leading edge. Curtis produced over 5,000 of the Jennies, and today there's only 12 of them remaining. Uh, we're proud to have the one of the 12. Wham acquired the Curtis in 2005 after being in storage in the Midwest for over 80 years not being flown. Our Curtis Jenny was purchased on eBay in 2005 and rebuilt by Tom Murphy and Terry Brandt for the Wham Museum. The wingspan of the Curtis is 43 feet 7 inches. The ailerons are located on the top wing on this aircraft. The wings and the fuselage are all covered with uh, Irish linen. The uh, ribs in it are all wooden and you can see reinforcing tape on each, every player there's a rib, it's got a reinforcing tape on it. The fuselage is also wood and fabric. All the stringers on, in the fuselage and the main spars are all wood, uh, still covered with Irish linen. The control surfaces or tail feathers on the back of the airplane are a left and right stabilizer, the horizontal stabilizer that gives you your steadiness in flight. You have your movable elevators on the back side, which are huge uh, compared to modern day uh, el uh, elevators, and you have a big rudder for directional control. When the aircraft was restored, they, it wasn't brand new linen that was put on the aircraft. It was the linen was 50 years old that had been stored in Arizona for years. The present day number on the aircraft is 1282. It's a FAA registration number for identification. It is also number one on the Civil Aeronautics Administration. Wham's Curtis Jenny is flown on a regular basis around the Hood River Valley area. The instrument panel on these older aircraft were very limited. This one has only about six instruments in it. An airspeed indicator, uh, oil temperature gauge, altimeter, and compass. The aircraft is a two-place trainer. The uh, front cockpit is for the instructor and the rear cockpit's for the student. All the World War I aircraft were open cockpits. You can see the 
plastic uh, windscreen ahead of the pilot and the student. It protected uh, them from uh, blow wind blowing in their face and also protected them from oil coming back from the V8 engine in front of them. As a final note, Mr. Curtis bought back many Jennies after the war and sold them to the general public at a loss, which started the barnstormers and the mail carriers. <laughs>